amazing artists. So this week we're going to learn a new art style called printmaking. And what printmaking is, it's a special technique that artists use to take one image and then actually print it onto something else. And so how many of you have ever used stamps and stamp pads? That's exactly what it is. I'm taking this flower image and I'm printing it onto my paper. All right, so let's learn a little bit more about the art style that is known as printmaking. So what is printmaking? It's an artistic process that transfers one image from something to another. One of the most famous pop artists, Andy Warhol, is known for his printmaking. He would take one image and then print it many times on one surface. Today we are going to do some printmaking using household objects that we have at home. So since it is St. Patrick's Day this week, we are going to be making our own stamp out of some cardboard and tin foil. And then we are going to print it four times to make a shamrock. So grab your materials and let's learn how to do printmaking. All right, so I am all set up to do my printmaking. Okay, so for this you are going to need some supplies at home. Um, you are going to need some tin foil, which most of you have in your kitchen. Um, if you don't have any, uh, email me and I can send some down to the vestibule that you can use. Um, you're also going to need a strong piece of cardboard or we're actually going to just use oak tag. So it doesn't have to be that strong. It could be from a cereal box. It could be from a soda box. Um, so we're going to basically making a stamp using these materials. Okay. So before we do that, we need to kind of set up our paper that we're going to print on. So for this, we need a square. And the easiest way to make a square is we want this side to be the same as this side. So I'm going to switch it over, fold it, and then I'm going to just cut off the remaining paper that I do not need. And that's going to give me my square. Okay. So for this, we're going to actually make one, two, three, four prints. So I'm going to set up my paper that way by folding it in half and then folding it in half. And then diagonal, we can just kind of ignore. That will eventually go away after we print. Okay. So this is now ready to go. So I'm going to make my stamp. This is really kind of cool. So you need a heart shape because we're gonna be making a shamrock and a shamrock has four parts in one circle. Okay, so the easiest way to do that is turn it from a diamond. We're gonna be using the point. So this would be where my heart goes up and then from there, we're gonna make a big M across. Okay, so I'm gonna cut out my heart So, and now I'm going to wrap it in tin foil. So I want to add glue. I would definitely use a glue stick this week and not glue bottle. Okay. Put it into my tin foil. All right, and then this we're going to kind of fold up and in. Okay, the back side doesn't have to be perfect. You can even you know, cut it and trim it. I'm just doing this quickly so we can get to the fun part. All right, and then see this whole part. I'm going to just cut it close to the heart. And then I'm just fold my pieces over. At the top where the nook is, I'm going to actually place it, and that's going to help make my pieces fold in easier. Okay, so this is my back. It's not so nice and pretty, but there's my front, and this is the fun part to get to do. Okay, so we get to add some designs onto my stamp, and so that is called embossing. So using a pencil, I want to push down into my heart and it will make a texture, okay? So 
let's think of those patterns or zentangles that we do. Okay, so I'm drawing some zigzags. Okay, I can do a little design. Okay, so the bottom of your heart is actually where it's going to go around in circle. So that's just something to think about. So I'm going to kind of show, you can see how my pencil went into the tin foil to make that texture. Okay, you also want to be careful not to push too hard because you may rip the tin foil. Okay, so just be a little careful on that. All right, but you're going to come up with a design. You can see, I know it's hard to see with the shine, but I have texture embossed into my um, stamp. All right, so now we're going to be using markers to transfer our stamp image onto paper. Okay, normally we would do printing ink, um, but since we are in COVID times and you don't have printing ink at home, this is kind of a backup plan and it's actually really fun to me. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the washable markers. Do not use Sharpie. You want to use the washable markers and you're going to color in your picture. So I have my tin foil all colored. And you can see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print in one corner of my paper. So to get the ink off of the marker tin foil onto your paper, you're going to have to wet it. So just get a little water paint. If you have a spray bottle at home, that would work too. I'm just going to lightly put some water on. You don't want to get it super, super wet. I think Puddle, so I'm going to kind of dab it with my paper towel. Now I'm ready to print. All right, so I'm going to flip over my design. I'm going to line up my heart here in the corner. Okay. Rub, 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 rub the back. Rub, 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 rub the back. And now we can check. You see it's my image printed onto. Yeah. Yes, it did. Oh my God, it's amazing. All right, so I noticed um, some of the ink is missing and that is okay. It's not going to be perfect every time, but guess what? I'm going to re-ink it and try it again. So I want to do it in each of the four corners. All right, so here is my printed shamrock. Okay, so um, as you can see, we did it three times. One time um, I tried to use a little extra water to see if the ink would come off and it actually didn't work that well. So um, lesson learned, we make mistakes in art and it's totally okay. I still think it's beautiful and it was really fun to learn the printmaking process with you. All right, so when you're done with this, you can, um, if you want, upload it into the Google Classroom assignment for all you remote learners at home. Um, if you would also like, it's really nice to um, cut it out. It makes a beautiful um, picture. Um, maybe you could even cut it out and put a hole in it with some string, and you could hang it in your window. It might make a beautiful window design. Okay, so I hope you had fun learning about printmaking with me today, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.